Hi everyone, welcome to today's learning from home tip of the day and happy book week. We are at tip of the day number 15 and today I will be sharing some strategies on how to use a picture walk to improve reading comprehension. So what is a picture walk? A picture walk is basically a way to preview a story before reading it. So it's an activity that will be done between an adult and a child and you would flip through each page of the book, looking at the pictures and talking about the things that you notice. So why are picture walks important? Picture walks help improve comprehension. So it allows the child to activate their background knowledge so they can make connections and link what they see in the new text to things that they already know based on past experiences or things they've seen in other books or talked about. It also helps to introduce new vocabulary prior to their reading. So as you are flipping through the pages, it may be that they notice something that they are unfamiliar with, or it might be something that they are familiar with, but don't know what it's called. And through the discussions that you have, the, the name of this might come up and this introduces them to a new vocab and most likely they will be using it to help them read the text later on. Picture walks also help to increase interest and engagement in the story. And it helps to provide the child a chance to practice making predictions. And this is a great way to support comprehension before reading a text by flipping through pages, looking at pictures and having a guess at what the story might be about and what might be happening. Who might the characters be? Where might um, this story take place? Okay, and that will be of great help when the child is trying to decode new words and trying to read the text later on. And the last reason why picture walks are important is that it teaches the child that pictures can be used to provide great clues to help them comprehend and understand what is happening in the story, as well as to understand what unfamiliar words may mean. So how is it that you can do a picture walk? So a picture walk should take only a few minutes and it's quite easy to do. You would start by sitting with your child and with the text, you would look at the front cover and talk about the heading, you could talk about the, um, the author's name and if there's an illustrator as well. Then you would talk about what you can see and what you think might be happening. Um, your child might point out things that they are familiar with and things that they might not know. So you can help them um, expand their vocabulary and name things that they're not sure about. You would also like to look at the back cover as well as that may tell lots of information. Then you would flip through the pages one by one and do the same thing. So look at the pictures, scan through everything and talk about what you see. Questions you'd like to ask would start with who, what, where, why and when. Okay, so as you look through the pictures, ask these questions. So it can bring about some great discussion um, and lots of rich prior knowledge before you tackle the, the text. For some more information, the first link I've included is a video of an example of a picture walk. So if you want to have a live example, this is a great video to watch to help you get a better idea of what it looks like. The second link will take you to um, a few pages, including some questions that might help um, prompt you with what you could ask your child, and also some strategies to help support our readers who are reading books with fewer pictures as well. So I hope you find these useful and please share any comments or questions um, or success stories here below and continue to help us learn from each other. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.